Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. You've joined me here at the Forest of Arden. And as you can see, I'm just off the back of the 13th green here. And this video is gonna be about the chip and run. And I'm gonna give you the easiest way or the easiest technique that you can use to help you get this ball close. So I've got probably only about two to three yards of this, of this rough. I've then got a little bit of fringe and then I've got probably in the region of 25, 30 feet to go to that hole. Now, there are many different ways I could get this ball close. I could put it, I could use a lob wedge, I could use an eight iron, a seven iron. Some of you might have even experimented with a rescue. We're just gonna go through one of those techniques today and that's the seven iron. Now, this is not saying this is exactly how you should play it, but really as a, as, a, as a player trying to develop your short game, you'll just need to have as many options as you can available to you, and then you have to make the choice as to which one is best. For many of the golfers out there who are, you know, certainly slightly higher handicappers, this shot is definitely going to be the easiest one for you. I've got my seven iron here. So really what I'm trying to do is get this ball to land, you know, only just on the green, maybe, you know, maybe three or four feet onto the green here. And the fact that I'm using a seven iron is going to mean that the ball flight is going to be incredibly low. It's therefore going to roll the 25, 30 feet and hopefully pretty close to the flag. So because I've got my seven iron and I only need to land the ball just on the green, what that's going to mean is that my actual shot stroke is going to be very short. It's going to be a very, very short swing. That often means it's a little bit easier to control. And certainly if I'm trying to land the ball in this area here, it's much easier to do that than it is to try and pick a spot, you know, maybe some 60, 70% of the distance to the hole and try and land the ball there with a, with a wedge. So seven iron chip and run is definitely gonna be the easiest shot for you, especially if you're a golfer who struggles with your short game. So how are we gonna play this? Now there's different ways of playing this shot, but this is one I want you to experiment with. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to stand much, much closer than you would be if you were hitting a full seven iron. So if I was taking, taking my setup to hit a full seven iron, I'd be here. But for this particular shot, I want to raise the handle up significantly. I want to walk quite a lot closer to the golf ball. And I want to take my grip right at the bottom of the handle. So I've got a good two and a half inches free at the top. Now, you may well notice there that I applied my hands on the golf club as I would my putter. Because the golf club is a lot closer to vertical, it would make sense that we hold it the same way as we would hold a putter because the club shaft angle here is very similar to what it would be with my putter. So as I raise the handle up, I want to feel almost like I'm taking my putting setup and my putting grip. So that's my putting grip. And you'll notice from the face on camera, I've got a very, very narrow stance, very, very close. I then want to feel like I set a little bit of weight left and I have a little bit of lean forward in the handle. Not a huge amount, but a little bit. That's gonna help me just feel like I miss out some of this longer grass behind the ball. It's gonna guarantee my strike a little bit and it's gonna help me judge the distance a lot more accurately. Now, what I really want you to focus on is almost that you're going to make your putting stroke. I'm gonna very much use my shoulders. I'm not really trying to use any kind of wrist action at all. Any kind of wrist action is going to compromise your strike. You're often gonna fat it, thin it, that's, mean, that's going to mean that the ball's not gonna be struck as well as it should be, and that's very difficult to control the distance. So very much like your putting stroke, controlling it with my shoulders, and I'm feeling like I'm just going to control the distance that the ball goes by the tempo and the length of my swing. So as I step in, I almost go through my routine of putting. I'm trying to look at the area I'm trying to land the ball. Very, very close, grip is very high, and from here I can just make my putting stroke and just pop it just onto the green. Okay, and I'd be very, very happy with that. That looks like it's only about a foot, just over a foot away. Should better tap that in, and if I've missed the green, that's a guaranteed up and down. So try that technique if you really struggle with those short shots. Definitely a different one. You don't have to play them this way, but it's an option that you might want to try. As I said at the start, if you've got options, you're definitely gonna have a better chance of getting up and down because you can play the high one, you can play the low one, you can play the shots from a variety of different lies. So try that one. You're gonna take your putting setup, take your putting grip, raise the handle up, feel it's very much like a putting stroke. You see the shot there was very simple, it was very low, it was predictable. If I'd have misstruck that and thinned it, the result probably wouldn't have been that different. So it's definitely one to try. I think you're gonna find it's gonna help you get up and down a little bit more often. Thank you for watching. All the usual stuff is down below. There's a comments box down there. There's a like button. If you did like the video, that really does help me. And if you're not a subscriber, please click that link in the description box because it's absolutely free. It just means you get a notification each time I upload a video. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you again soon.